Hey folks, Keith with 93 Lumber, come back at you with another beer. This is uh, Saison DuPont. Uh, brewed by Brasserie DuPont. I just realized when I started this, I was like, oh, I don't know what the brewery is. I know it's Saison DuPont, but I completely blanked on that part of it. <clears throat> This is their Cuvée Dry Hopping. Finished with Styrian Wolf Hop Editions, Belgian Farmhouse Ale, six, it's unfiltered and bottle conditioned, and it's 6.5% alcohol by volume. Uh, there's a batch number thing. Um, I bought this a few weeks ago. I'm, I'm sure it's fine. I don't know how old it is though. Uh, every year, DuPont's master brewer, Olivier De, De Decker, maybe, probably not, uh, makes a limited edition dry hop version of the brewery's world famous Saison DuPont, incorporating a different hop variety for the 2019, oh, for the 2019 edition, Olivier added steering wolf hops, a Slovakian variety known for its exceptional tropical fruit notes to complement the Saison's iconic peppery flavor, product of Belgium. So this is 2019, so this is two years old. Um, the place that I got this, uh, I bought, actually I bought this beer, Grudziski, Polish Grudziski, and this was from two, 2018, uh, which that was dated in the, if you, I'll post, I'll post that review before I post this review. Um, but uh, I didn't realize that that was from 2018, but it was delicious. So, <clears throat> so uh, yeah. I mean, I can, I can say, I wish, I wish places would um, be more wary of their, I know some breweries don't date and they're, they've got batch numbers instead of dates and whatever, but I wish, I wish places that sold beer would be more mindful of, of like how long certain beers like this, I'm sure it's fine. That one's three years old. It was awesome. But I've also bought things that had no dates and I had no idea how long they were sitting on the shelf and I bought them and they were oxidized and whatever. And I, but I also have no, um, kind of, uh, yeah, I'm not going to get into it, but, uh, even though I already did, that's two fingers of a nice, uh, bubble bathy kind of head. Um, Maybe a slightly off white, but uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's dark in the middle, a lighter orange around the uh, yeah, it's dark orange, like maybe a little brownish in the middle, and then like an orange yellow around the edges. Looks good, looks like there's a little bit of sediment floating around in there, and this glass has like a little uh agitator thing in the in the bottom so you're not going to be able to see it but there's like some of the sediment is like freaking out down there Let's see what it smells like it smells belgian -y. I'm not really getting a good nose on here. Maybe a little bit of citrus zestiness. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's the glass or if it's. I want to say it's a little bit, it comes off a little bit spicy too. I know they said it's 
I, iconic peppery flavor, but I'm getting a little like tingly thing in my nose. Yeah, I'm not really getting much else, so I'm just gonna let's let's just drink it. Cheers. I've had the, <clears throat> I've had Saison DuPont before and I was thinking uh, maybe I should revisit it before I drink this, this one. Cause in this one, I don't know, I don't know if it just wasn't cared for properly or, or just by chance something happened to this, but there's like this. I didn't get it so much in that sip, but it was like this creamy, like, I don't know. It was a weird flavor. Not not like a bad flavor, just, just weird, out of place. Yeah, there is a, there is a fruitiness in there. Um, I don't know if, <clears throat> hmm. my mind is, uh, my mind is blanking right now. Um, the peppery thing is in there. Let me work backwards. Peppery thing is in there. There is a citrusy thing. That is like a, I would say zesty, juicy, pith, kind of pithy, maybe not pithy. Um, cause it's not really, yeah, it's really not that bitter. Um, yeah, but there's like this kind of creamy, kind of, kind of reminds me of like milk or something. Um, yeah, I feel like it's a little watery. <clears throat> Like this should be like this kind of beer. It's bottled conditioned and, and, and whatnot. So like you would think it'd be okay, but I feel like it didn't go bad. It just has this weird thing to it. And maybe I'm just not remembering that Saison Dubon had a weird thing because I don't think the, uh, additional hopping would give it what I'm getting in here. And like I said, it's not a bad flavor. It's not like an off flavor. It is just like a, cause like I really, I really like this cause it's soft. It's not offensive as, uh, I've heard other people describe beers, not offensive. Um,
Damn. Yeah, a little bit of that fruit cocktail thing in there, maybe. But like very, very, <clears throat> very generic and very subtle. Yeah. Oh, I forgot that. The, 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 put the whole bottle in here. Let's get some of that Mises in there. Or maybe it was the yeast. Because I know that can uh, affect the flavor. But anyways, so yeah. I should have gotten a, I should have gotten a, uh, I should have drank one of the, or I should have, I should have just gotten a uh, Saison DuPont for, to do side by side. But I did not do that. So here we are. Um, so yeah, I hope you're all doing well. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. You can like this video if you would like to. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can follow me on Instagram at 93lumber. <laughs> Spelled out. 93lumber. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.